Let's learn how we can use Excel's powerful features to manipulate the data. So for example, if we would like to sort the information that we have ascending or descending or alphabetical or not, it's very, very easy to do it in Excel. So let's learn how. So we have our list of products here and now it's very, very easy to manipulate this list. Excel has several features available for us to manipulate the data we have. For example, if we want to see this list of products sorted by alphabetical order for the name of the book, or if we want to sort this list by the most expensive books to purchase at the top to the least expensive. So these are things that we can achieve in Excel very easily. So a few things that we need to understand about sorting. So for sorting, Excel needs to know the data that you are using to sort, and then it also needs to know which column or which columns do you want to sort the information based on. And, and also you have to tell Excel whether it's ascending or descending or it is the alphabetical or the reverse alphabetical order. Sort menu options are available here in the home ribbon. So you can see here that it gives you the option of sorting A to Z or Z to A, or you can also do more advanced sorting. But it is showing A to Z because now my selected cell is actually cell C7, which is a text type of information. And that's why Excel is giving me sort A to Z. So let me select cell E7, which is a number. And now you can see that Excel gives me sort smallest to largest and largest to smallest. So keep in mind that if it's a numeric value, Excel will give you the option of ascending or descending. And if it's a text value, Excel will give you the alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order. So Excel is smart enough to understand based on the data that you have selected. When you have only one cell selected, Excel will automatically detect the cells around it and then will try to say, this is the data set that we have. So let's try that. So I am in cell D9. So if I tell Excel to sort from A to Z, which means it is going to sort column D, the book type in an alphabetical order, A will go first and then Z will go last. So let's try that, sort A to Z. So what happened here was that Excel quickly selected all these cells that we have in our data as the selection, even though we only selected one cell. And let me undo. And you can see here that Excel actually selected all these cells correctly, even though we only had selected one. And this is Excel's power in understanding the data and understanding what you have in your spreadsheet. It can be very, very helpful in a lot of cases. Sometimes it may not be what you want. You may want to only use certain data sets and not the entire, but keep in mind that Excel is detecting the data around your selected cell. And it is saying from A3 to G17 is the data and it's using the row number two here, A2 to G2 as the header. And since we are in cell D9, Excel was sorting based on the book type field. So Excel was smart and then it figured it all out. So how do I know Excel did all this? So let me go back here and then instead of choosing the one of these two options, let me choose sort custom sort. So this opens up a dialog box, which gives us an insight into how Excel is doing the sort. So Excel first needs a selection of data. And you can see here that these cells are selected. So Excel is gonna think this is our data set. And also Excel is assuming that my data here, the first row is a header row. The first here is nothing but the row above this. So product ID to margin, Excel is thinking that is my header row. Excel is correct. And Excel is doing that because in the first row, A1, there's nothing in B1, nothing in C1, D1, and E1. So Excel is thinking, no, this is my data set beginning in A2 and not A1. 
So Excel is putting the row number two as my header row and Excel is thinking A3 to G17 as my data set. And now I need to tell Excel, what do I want to sort by? So if I click here, I will see my header values. So I can sort by the product ID, I can sort by the name, all these columns that I have, just because we have a header row and we this box is checked here automatically, Excel uses this to create this drop down menu. This is very, very convenient. We were smart enough to actually create a header row and put the right names in there. So now when I want to sort, it's very, very convenient for me. And I can, for example, choose purchase price. Instantly, the order information changes from smallest to largest because it's a numeric column. The purchase price are numbers and that's why the order changes. So let me choose book name and now the order changes from A to Z to Z to A. So sort by is the column by which we want to sort and then the order is how we want to sort it. And also that you have more options here to sort on values would be the default. And because we have values in our cells, this is something that makes sense to us. But if we had more colors in the cells, we can actually use a cell color or font color to actually sort. Right now, we're going to choose only values. And if I choose A to Z, now this data set will be sorted by the book name. So if I want to choose, let's say, book type, and now book type, alphabetical order. So all the ebooks will go over to the top. And let's do that. Okay. So now all the ebooks went to the top and then the hardcover because E and then H and then S. So let me go and do custom sort again. And now you can see that Excel is remembering that this is how we sorted. Now I can add one more level and say within the ebook category, show me the most expensive or the largest value here most expensive to the least. And what Excel will do here is creating multiple levels of sort will let Excel first sort by the book type column and then we have ebooks. And then within that, it'll sort based on the purchase price largest to smallest. So when I hit okay, I would expect Excel to say ebook would come up first, but then the most expensive ebook will be coming first. That would be the 500 rupee ebook, Wings of Fire. I expect that to go to the first and then the next expensive, the 300 rupee Glimpses of World History would be second. So let's try that. So there you go, 500, 300, 250. So this is sorted descending within ebook. And then we have all the hardcover books and all the hardcover books are sorted descending order. And then all the soft cover books are also sorted in the descending order. So let me go back and do custom sort again. And you can easily remove any kind of sorting the selecting it and then deleting that level. And you can add more and more levels as many columns you have. And Excel would be able to organize the data correctly. So I'm going to click OK. And this will leave the sort order. If I want to go back to my original sort order, I can just go here and then custom sort. I'm going to delete this level and I'm going to use product ID because that's how we had before. Say, okay, so now we are back to where we were originally. I'm going to click somewhere else outside. So I want to give you a, a warning about sorting. So this is something which you have to pay very close attention to. So instead of selecting all the cells, if I had only selected, let's say, these cells and now I go and do custom sort and Excel will actually tell me that I have sorted it by product ID recently so it's showing that up but I can also see that it is only listing up to purchase price as my sort by options because we only have these cells selected margin is not in this data set so let's say if I choose product ID and I choose largest to smallest. So I would like this, what this would do is to sort the data based on 
product ID largest first. So 15 will go to the top, 14, and then one will be at the bottom. That's fine. But since we only selected these columns and not the margin, the margin column will not change. You will still have 10% at the bottom and 30% at the top and all these values in the same place. So if we go ahead and do the sort, it's going to be wrong. It's going to create, it is going to make your data invalid and incorrect. So let me choose okay. So what happens is now Wings of Fire has a 30% margin. But if you remember, the Wings of Fire ebook only had 10% before. But since we sorted these columns and not include this one, now your data is completely displaced. And so it is wrong and inaccurate. So this is a very, very important thing that you need to know. Whenever you are sorting, please make sure that all the data that you have in your data set is selected together so that the sort operation doesn't make your data incorrect. I'm going to go back and undo because I don't want wrong data. So I would undo and now I would get back the original data that I have. Lastly, so far we have used this menu option here to do the sorting. There's also available in the data ribbon and you can have instantly sort by alphabetical or by largest to smallest easily and then the reverse option also. And when you click this sort button, you open up the sort dialog box. So I would recommend you use this if you have your data ribbon open more often, then you can use this. But if you are in your home ribbon, you can also use this. This takes an extra step to do it because you have to click this and then click here. But if you are in your data ribbon and if you're doing a lot of sorting together, then you can actually open up the data ribbon and then you can just single click to do these things. Another another way of sorting would be you select your data and then you can use right click and then you can say sort smallest to largest same options available here or you can choose custom sort and that will also open up this menu. So there are different ways of doing it. Please choose the method that is very convenient to you.